Number 37. Complete and balance each of the following half reactions, which is steps two to five in the half reaction method. And then we have letter F. So we have to balance and complete the reaction of SO3, two minus, and that's aqueous, and that's yielding SO4, two minus. So we have two polyatomics here. We have sulfite turning into sulfate. Cool. Um, they tell us that this is going to be in a acidic solution. So majority of the ones that you're going to do are in acidic solutions. I wrote down all of the uh, rules that you guys should know for balancing in acidic solutions. However, since we're only dealing with the half reaction, we don't have to do all of them, but I just gave you all of them just so that you have them all written down. And since we have a half reaction already, we don't have to do step one. Step one of balancing redox reactions is to break it into the half reaction. We already have a half reaction, so we don't have to do that. Now we just got to do steps two through five. So let's go. Step two is we always going to balance the elements except for hydrogen and oxygen. So you're not allowed to touch oxygen and you're not allowed to touch hydrogen at this stage of the game. So in this case, I'm only allowed to touch the sulfurs on the both sides, right? because I can't touch the oxygen. That's not this step. But if I look, I have one sulfur here and one sulfur here. So it's balanced. I don't have to do this step really. And you could always skip over, right? You check, you see, can I do this? Eh, no, they're already balanced. So we just, we just skip over it. Now we go to the third step. You wanna always balance oxygen next. These steps are in a reason. And they're, they're the reason why these steps are, you know, in the numbers that they are. It just makes it easier. So you're going to balance oxygen by adding H2O. And just know that if you need one oxygen on one side, you're going to add one H2O. So if you need to add two oxygens, you'll add two H2Os. Three oxygens you need, you need to add three H2Os. Let's see. Okay, well, I have an oxygen here, right? And I have three of them. And I have four oxygens on this side. So I have three oxygens. I got four oxygens. Looks like I need to add one more oxygen on this side to get to four. Well, I need one more oxygen. So that means I need to just add one H2O. And now I have one oxygen plus three gives me four. Not bad. That done. Now we go to step four. We balance hydrogen by adding H plus. This is the same exact idea. If you need to add one hydrogen, you're going to add one H plus. Two hydrogen you need, you need to add two H pluses. So let's see. On my reactant side, I have hydrogen here and I have two of them. No hydrogen on my product side. So if I have two on this side, I need to add two H plus. Not bad. Last step. Now we're going to balance the charges and you balance the charges by adding electrons. Electrons are negative. So that's why we call them E negative. You're always going to add electrons to the more positive side because you want to bring it down to the more negative side. Now, what I like to do is I like to split the reactant and the product side. I just like to make a little barrier because I'm going to be getting the total charges on the left and the total charges on the right. So I can't, you know, cross paths here. Let's find out the total charge on the left. Now, we don't have to look at the individual element charges. All we're doing is going for that upper right hand corner. Now, let's start with SO3, right? You see in the upper right hand corner, there's a two minus. That's the charge of this compound. Now let's just make sure how many we have. Well, I only have one of them, right? Oh, gosh. I only have one of them, right? So the overall charge of this would just be a negative two, right? Negative two times one is negative two. But now for this one, for H2O, I don't see a charge, right? If I look in that upper right-hand corner, I don't see anything. So what's the charge? If it's not positive and it's not negative, it's zero. There's no charge here. 
So this compound would just be zero as the overall charge. And now you just got to add them together. Zero plus a negative two is a negative two. So you're going to hold that off until we analyze where we're adding our electrons. Now we got to do the same thing for the product side. Let's go for sulfate first. I see that there's a negative two in the upper right hand corner, right? So that's my charge. Let's just make sure I have one of them. So I got a negative two on this side. And now I have H plus, right? Plus is a plus one. So plus one, but I have two of them. So two times a plus one is a plus two. And now it's this plus this. So negative two plus a positive two is zero. I just like to put the overall charges close to each other so I can see it. Now you're going to add those electrons to the more positive side. Well, out of a negative two and a zero, which one is more positive? The zero, right? So I know I'm going to add electrons on this side. But now the question is, how many do I add, right? Do I add one? Do I add two? Do I add three? You always add as many to go down to the negative side. So if I'm starting off at zero and I want to get to a negative two, because you're trying to balance these charges, how many bunny hops on a number line would you go? Yeah, there are two numbers apart. So I would add two electrons. And that's it. We're done. So the full thing, without all these pretty colors, would just be water plus SO3, two minus, and if you want to put aqueous, that's fine. And that yields sulfate, SO4, two minus, aqueous, plus 2H plus, and then plus those two electrons, and that's it. Woohoo! We did it. What do you think? Hopefully this helped. If it did, let me know. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Uh, it, you know, feedback just makes me know that I'm doing my job right and that I'm, you know, making this as easy as possible for you guys. Like the video if you want, subscribe to the channel, and yeah, that'll help us out. We'll get the word out there in the YouTube universe, uh, and I'm so thankful for that. You guys have been awesome throughout this whole journey. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers, which is crazy, um, but education is fun, and learning is fun, okay? So let's keep learning. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.